All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kodobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the generic inline cockpits mod, which is being made by forum user Nestor D. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is seven fun new inline cockpits for you to play around with, and who doesn't love that? So let's just jump right on into the space plane hangar and have a gander at these fun new parts. Now let's just go straight over to the mod filter and just leave on a generic and have a look at our first part here the mark 3 lancaster cockpit which of course is for the mark 3 fuselage system and i gotta say this is one of my two favorites in this particular mod pack purely because i love the idea of an inline mark 3 i mean the normal mark 3 cockpit is a beautiful piece of work but it really kind of hog ties you into just making a shuttle, whereas an inline cockpit opens you to all sorts of other monstrosities that you could build, and I like that idea. And overall, it is a pretty nice little cockpit with, of course, the capacity for up to four Kerbals, minimum of one crew member to operate. It has the typical reaction wheel, crew report, 500 electric charge, and 100 mono propellant. So not exactly the most feature-rich of cockpits we've ever seen on this series but overall it has what you need and in the end well that's just a good thing so let's move on to the next which is the mark ii condor cockpit which if we just pop that on there of course being a part of the mark ii fuselage and this one can hold up to two kerbals minimum of one required is a lifting surface reaction wheel and crew report on board and 150 electric charge and 25 mono propellant. Now the next one that we have is the Mark II Swallow cockpit, which we just pop that right up front there. And this one a bit smaller at only being able to hold one crew member total and one minimum. So, you know, eh, make sure you got a Kerbal. Is a lifting surface, has a reaction wheel, crew report, 50 electric charge, and only a mere 7.5 mono propellant on this one. So, you know, maybe take some extra with you. The next is the Mark 1 slash Mark 2, or actually flip that around because apparently I can't read. Thunder cockpit. There we are. Just pop that up front. Again, this one holds two with a minimum of one Kerbals. Has a lifting surface reaction wheel crew report, 150 electric charge, and back up to 25 mono propellant on this particular craft. Now, the next three that we have are, of course, in the Mark I system, where we have the Sparrow, which, again, is a one Kerbal crewed pod with reaction wheel crew report, a 50 50 electric charge and again 7.5 mono propellant. The next is the Vulture, which holds two Kerbals max, one min, and has the typical reaction wheel crew report 50 electric charge and again a 7.5 mono propellant. And finally, my other favorite of the two favorite uh, cockpits in this mod the Mark 1 slash 0.625 meter. Pixie cockpit. I don't know why, but I I love this thing. Oh god, I kind of screwed it when I tried to flip it around. There we go. I just like how small and compact it is. It's basically a cockpit inside of a nose cone, and that makes me happy. Now, of course, this does require one Kerbal to crew, has a reaction wheel, a crew report, 50 electric charge, and again, a 7.5 mono propellant. So, uh, the same amount as, well, a lot of the others, which is a little strange considering its size, but oh well. I still do love it. Just the, the nice, sleek, cool design. Again, it's basically a cockpit shoved inside of a nose cone. And I like that. So yeah, so this is our seven lovely new generic inline cockpits, which of course are, as the name says, fairly generic, so you can really use them for anything you are trying to build. Though I must admit, one of the fun features on this that I think is slightly less generic is the cool shader on the actual canopies here. It's quite unique, kind of going from a more 
dark grayish to the sort of orangey color as you spin around. Very, very cool and very fun. Now, one thing I do need to point out, if we turn back on squad and take this outside momentarily, if I go to structural, there we go, and we'll hold it all up from here, and of course, fill the cockpits. There we are. So one downside to this particular mod is the internal views. As the mod maker has been having difficulty in importing the IVAs into Unity. And so at the moment, the only one with an internal view is the Mark III Lancaster, and it is using the standard Mark III cockpit basically as a placeholder, as you can see right here. Now, the mod maker has made, apparently, according to the forum post, the basic shape, etc., of the internals for some of the others, but again, is just having difficulty in getting them into the game, which is unfortunate. So, hopefully, that issue will be solved at some point, uh, but it may potentially not be, and the mod maker may just leave it as is. So uh, that is one downside, as that is the only cockpit we do have here. So if you would like flying from an internal view, eh, that might not be the best selling point. But if, like me, you fly almost entirely in third person, it's not that big of a deal. So let us actually uh, play around with this and take a look at one of my creations with one of these cockpits to give you an idea of, well, some designs that you could potentially make with yours. So let's go back to the space plane hangar and bring out whatever it was that I was building. I don't remember what I named it now. Untitled Space... Oh, God, no, that was that monstrosity. <laughs> no, actually, I did name it something. What was it? Let's look look around. Ah, there it is. I named it Sprite, mainly because I forgot that the cockpit itself is named Pixie. Heh, oh well, what are you gonna do? But a lovely little airplane with this tiny little cockpit and basically engines that are larger than it, and I am perfectly cool with that. So yeah, this is just one possible minute example of what you could potentially build with the generic inline cockpits mod. And yeah, I would definitely suggest that if you do like making space planes, to definitely give this a go, as it is just a nice thing to have some additional cockpits here and there for just a, you know, a little bit different of a design choice from our typical selection. And overall, it's just a nice little mod. Seven pretty well-made cockpits, but again, generic as intended. And overall, just nice little pieces of work. So if you would like to take a look at this mod for yourself, you can take a gander at the link in the description, as per usual. Uh, but that is really going to be it for today's episode. I hope you all have enjoyed this uh, much shorter than typical one. And of course, that you do come back for the next episode, when we'll be looking at what I hope to be another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one!